And now it is my great pleasure to welcome the first of our principal speakers this morning. There are many here for, Hugh, for whom Hugo Chapman needs no introduction. However, there are others who are new to the study of old master drawings and who will benefit in knowing that Hugo Chapman is one of the significant and leading figures in the field. And I want to bring up uh, his image, the first of his images. So for a moment, I will interrupt. There we go. All right. Since last year, Hugo Chapman has been the keeper of the Department of Prints and Drawings and curator of Italian and French drawings pre-1800 at the British Museum, an institution renowned for its collection of old master prints and drawings. Indeed, the collection numbers over 50,000 drawings and over two million prints. Hugo Chapman has that most desired of all qualifications for his position a highly trained, skilled, sensitive, and discerning eye. To that, he adds his superior education in art history, which began at Westfield College, London University, and continued at the auction house of Christie's in London in the old master drawings department, a position he held for 10 years before joining in 1995 the curatorial staff of the British Museum in the Department of Prints and Drawings. Such experience in an auction house affords the scholar an opportunity to study a vast range of material and to make almost immediate and highly refined judgments. The range of Hugo Chapman's publications indicate that he has the knowledge versatility, sensitivity, and investigative spirit to enable him to look at his collection, indeed at old master drawings in general, in new and refreshing ways. His numerous catalog entries of drawings demonstrate that he is the scientist in providing us with all of the known factual material about a drawing, which he describes and analyzes with meticulous care. And then he becomes the gifted art historian in providing the artistic context as well as the historical and aesthetic significance of each work under discussion. Hugo Chapman has written exhibition catalogs and entries on many artists, including Marco Zoppo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, Correggio, Parmigianino, and Canaletto just to mention some of the major artists. He was a leading force in the powerful exhibition Raphael from Urbino to Rome, shown at the London National Gallery in 2004. He is the author of two books on Michelangelo, one in 2005 and the second in 2006, which is the catalog of his Michelangelo drawings exhibition. He co-curated an exhibition devoted to 15th century Italian drawing from the British Museum and the Uffizi, shown in 2010 in London and the following year in Florence. Hugo Chapman's introductory essay in the catalog of this latter exhibition is the model for the most exquisite and scholarly writing. Filled with insights, it should be required reading for anyone truly concerned with old master drawings. Just as the muse of creativity inspires an artist, we hope, so too that muse sometimes sits at the keyboard with the modern day scholar. Hugo Chapman is one of those fortunate few. For the Raphael exhibition catalog, he wrote, and I quote, the studies for the painting of the entombment also charge how Raphael sought inspiration from a wide variety of sources, the antique, Alberti, Mantegna prints, and the work of Michelangelo, Signorelli, Perugino, and Leonardo, and how he explored, refined, and assimilated these disparate influences to achieve a composition that is entirely his own. Those words, explore, refine, and assimilate, could also be used to describe the work of Hugo Chapman. This morning he will talk with us about William Young Otley, 1771 to 1836, 
and his significance to English collecting. Please join me in welcoming Hugo Chapman. Thank you very much, um, Professor Felton. I'm not sure the muse really was at my keyboard when I wrote this uh, lecture, but you'll have to see. Um, I would just uh, like to say what an honor it is to be here uh, at Smith, to be invited to talk. Uh, I must say the, uh, the museum has really bowled me over in terms of the quality of the works here. And I think uh, the drawing exhibition is, uh, looked absolutely fantastic. And I'd just like to add my words of thanks uh, to the collector who seems to embody so many of the great qualities of Smith in her uh, intellectual curiosity, her passion for the subject, and her generosity and warmth uh, to all those of us who uh, love old master drawings, as witnessed by the fact that she's allowed her drawings to go off here to be seen uh, by the wider community and not in her wonderful New York apartment. Um, but now, turning to the subject, uh, William uh, Young Otley, seen here in a, uh, as a young man. While the name of William Young Otley as a writer, collector, and amateur draftsman is not unknown in old master drawing circles, it would be fair to say that he would probably not feature among the likes of Sir Peter Lely, the second Duke of Devonshire, Jonathan Richardson, Sir Joshua Reynolds, or Thomas Lawrence, in a typical listing of the most significant British old master drawings collectors. The conviction that Otley belongs to that elite company is one that has been nourished at the British Museum because we like to think of him as one of our own. And this is a, him as a, an older man. For Otley's last three years were spent as head or keeper of the Department of Prints and Drawings from 1833 to 1836, although it has to be said that his poor health hampered him achieving very much in these years, aside from collect, uh, putting the collection in better order and vociferously complaining to the trustees about the department's inadequate heating. Less parochially, it is only through the study of the BM's collection, both in prints and in drawings, that one can gain some sense of Otley's remarkable qualities as a collector. My interest in Otley is one, therefore, that I have inherited from my distinguished predecessors in the Department of Prints and Drawings, and I re readily acknowledge the debt I owe to them. A former keeper, John Gear, wrote the fundamental art article on Otley as a collector of drawings in the British Museum Quarterly, in 1953, one which this lecture is largely based, and Nicholas Turner here this morning wrote the excellent entry on him in the Dictionary of National Biography. The reason that Otley has slipped into the background stems from the simple fact that only a small percentage of the drawings from his collection are stamped with his collector's mark. From the nearly 350 drawings listed in the BM database as coming from his collection, only 22 of them bear any of the four marks associated with him. 11 with his stamped an, an initials, number 2663, in Lux Les Marques de Collection. And here we have a drawing that um, Otley thought was by Titian, 